Good day, acute angels. Welcome to our new learning episode. I am teacher Nancy Pipineda, your grade 8 math teacher. Before we start today's lesson, kindly prepare your self learning module or your book, your pen, and paper to write your answers as we progress with our discussion. And most importantly, look for a place in your home where you feel safe and comfortable. In this lesson, I will be guiding you in the week 4 lesson for the second quarter of grade 8 mathematics. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to find the domain and range of a function. Let us start. What is a function notation? Let us analyze and inspect the parts of a function notation. We have here the function notation f of x equals 3x plus 1. The name of the function is f. f, open and close parenthesis x, is read as f of x. And this represents the value of the function at x. The domain is the set of x values that make sense in the equation. We can also say that y is a function of x or y is equal to f of x and 3x plus 1 is the output or range of the function. Take note that the notation f of x does not mean of f multiplied to x. In other words, f of x denotes the y value range that the function f pairs with x value or the domain. Thus, f of 1 denotes the value of y at x equals 1. To find f of x for a given value of x is to evaluate the function of f by substituting the input value x into the equation. Let us have an example. Let us evaluate the function f of x equals 3x plus 1. We have here the set of x values, x equals negative 2, x equals negative 1, x equals 0, x equals 1, and x equals 2. Now, to get the value of y or the range, we have to substitute the values of x into the function. We have the function values, the function f of x equals 3x plus 1. We just have to substitute the values of x into the given function. If x is negative 2, y is equal to negative 5. Substituting the value of x into the function, we have f of negative 2 equals 3 times negative 2 plus 1 equals negative 5. So, if x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 5. The input is negative 2 and the output is negative 5. Next, we have x equals negative 1. So we substitute the value of x negative 1 into the function. We have f of negative 1 equals 3 times negative 1 plus 1. So if x is negative 1, y. So if x is negative 1, y is equal to negative 2. Next, we have x equals 0. Substitute 0 into the function. We have f of 0 equals 3 times 0 plus 1. If x is equal to 0, then y is equal to 1. Next, we have x equals 1. Substitute 1 into the function. We have f of 1 equals 3 times 1 plus 1 equals 4. So if x is 1, y is equal to 4. And lastly, we have the value of x equals 2. Substitute 2 into the function, we get f of 2 equals 3 times 2 plus 1 equals 7. So the value of y if x is equal to 2 is 7. That's how we evaluate a function. Take note of this. A common misconception is we can use any numbers for the inputs or domain or the x values of a function. That is very wrong. In fact, 
we must inspect the function and determine any limitations or restrictions on the domain. Therefore, we cannot use any values or any number for the inputs or domain or the x. Given this example, we have the function function of x equals 3 over x. In this function, 0 cannot be substituted for x. Why? Since division by 0 is undefined. So if we are going to substitute 0 in place of x, this will be f of 0 equals 3 over 0. And 3 over 0 is undefined because division by 0 is undefined. Therefore, this cannot be a function. Hence, for this function, f of x equals 3 over x, the domain is the set of all numbers except 0. So we can use any set of all numbers or real numbers except 0. So the domain is, we have the set of x is an element of any real number and the restriction is x should not be equal to 0. We can use any real number except 0. That is the only restriction for this function. Since you cannot take 0 as your input, then 0 is also not a possible output. Hence, the range is the set of all real numbers except 0. In set notation, the set is the set of y is any real numbers. In set notation, the range is the set of y is any real numbers and y must not be equal to 0. Let us find the domain and range of a function given by a graph. Using the graph on the right side, remember that the domain of the function is the set of all possible x values or the independent variables. And the range is the set of all possible y values or the dependent variable. Observe that the graph extends infinitely in both directions. This means that the values of x can be the set of all real numbers. Similarly, the set of all possible values of y is the set of all real numbers. Therefore, the domain of the function is the set of x such that the value of x is any set of all real numbers. And the range of the function is the set of y such that the value of y is also a set of any real numbers. Let us have another example. Determine the domain and range of the given set of points plotted in the Cartesian plane on the right side. To determine the domain and range of the set of points plotted in the Cartesian plane, do the following. First, we have to enumerate the set of ordered pairs. The set of ordered pairs of the points on the Cartesian plane is negative 4, 3, negative 2, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, and 4, negative 1. So that is the set of ordered pairs of our given example. Next, Determine the first elements or the x values or abscesses of the ordered pairs. These are the set of acceptable inputs or domain. This will be the domain of the given points. For this, the x values are negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Hence, the domain is the set with elements negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. Next, to determine the second elements or the y values or ordinates of the ordered pairs, these are the set of acceptable outputs or range. Let us determine the y values. So the y values of the given set of ordered pairs are 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Hence, the range is the set with elements 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Again, the domain of the set of ordered pairs of the points is the set with elements negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. 
and the range of the set of ordered pairs of the points is the set with elements 3, 2, 1, 0, and negative 1. Let us try to determine the domain and the range of this given graph. To determine the domain visually, consider the x values or inputs taken by the graph. First, by looking in the x values horizontally from left to right. Observe that the graph extends infinitely in both sides because of the arrowheads. The arrowheads means it can be extended infinitely. This means that the values of x can be the set of all real numbers. It is because if we are going to extend the arrowheads infinitely, it follows the x values. The x values also extends or increases infinitely. Therefore, the domain of this function or the domain of this graph is the set of x such that x is any element of all real numbers. Second, by looking for breaks or gaps in the graph where it begins and where it ends. Since this graph goes infinitely left and right without any gaps, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Next, let us determine the range of the same graph. Look at the y values or outputs taken by the graph. Looking vertically to see if there are any restrictions. And we also have to look for breaks or gaps in the graph where it begins and where it ends. Let us take a look at the graph vertically. Since the lowest y value is negative 4 and the graph extends infinitely upward, then we can see that the range is all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 4. The range is the set of all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 4. In symbols, we have the set of y is any element of r and the values of y should be greater than or equal to negative 4. Remember, to find the domain and range of a function described by its graph, look in the x direction or the x axis horizontally from left to right for the domain and y direction vertically upward and downward for the range. Then, look for any breaks or gaps in the graph where it begins and where it ends. Use this data to list your domain and range. That's all for now. Again, this is Teacher Nancy Pineda, your grade 8 math teacher. Have a nice day and God bless us all.